Hi all, it's Terhi here together with my super beautiful uh, May hip kits. Um, I'm starting with the lovely exclusive paper from Hip Kit Club, uh, this colorful one. I used our May uh, exclusive cut files. Um, this butterfly, which is designed by Lorelai Murphy, and I really like this design. It's kind of soft and beautiful, and with this colorful paper, these butterflies will be really fantastic. I used a stapler for the bigger ones because I thought it would be fun to kind of move the upper upper butterfly piece, <laughs> and then I'm going to glue the middle piece on top and that's it i didn't find any of the patterns of the paper because all the colors of this paper is so or are so delicious and beautiful so i thought all these colors will do to my layout which is about my younger girl so all the colors and emotions are okay yeah but anyway, I really like to make it because there were so many new products, so fresh outlook and yeah, I really liked it. And this li lila or purple, light purple um, cardstock made me almost use another than the white background, but it didn't. I really thought about if I should make this layout on top of this purple cardstock or light yellow cardstock or something like that but then no my my beautiful white albums don't don't respect that but maybe some other day and i do know that i have a couple of projects for next christmas just on my craft table that needs to be on patterned paper so that's that's really challenging for me Anyway, back to this layout. I chose one of my favorite papers from the May Kit. A couple of them, mostly pinks, but some turquoise too. And they all have these patterns um, going on, so they are not like really smooth pinks. And there's lots of different shades and stuff. But the theme for, the lay for this layout was to make a striped painted background with the paints we had in May Color Kit, these are Vicky Putin paints from American Crafts and I really adore them. I have had Vicky's paints before and I, I really like them. They are just thick enough but liquid enough to make lots of things with them. And for this layout I'm showing the most easy, the quickest and easiest and the best uh, <laughs> thing to do with the paints, with any paints for sure, um, just adding some paint on top and then using a palette knife or old pan card or anything like that to spread the paint. You can go ahead and draw any patterns or shapes or something, but I'm going to be boring and just add these lines. Uh, you can leave it as a texture on top or then just grab it off and there's a light stripe of paint on your background. I first thought to do it this way that I have three really large stripe of paint on the background but I wasn't pleased for that because the colorful paper I have in the butter on the butterflies is kind of really dominating and I want the background to be kind of with the same theme. So I thought, okay, I will do a little slimmer um, these stripes and I started with the turquoise one because that's my favorite part. And then I'm going to add this fuchsia pink, which it was, if I remember right, it was strawberry at nine, something, no? Maybe. Anyway, I really like this color and I'm going to add this with um, a drop by drop. I'm not going to add too much at one time. I'm adding one drop there, one drop there, and then I'm going to sp spread it out and if needed, I will add some more. I'm using the 
side of the palette knife but also the bottom of the palette knife so the bottom will leave more paint to the areas and I can play with that make some texture there but if I'm going to use the side it will just take off the paint and leave just a little thin layer to this cardstock and I didn't use any gesso or anything on uh, on there first because these are quite dry paints as you see the paper is going a little curly but it will dry and also I will not add a lot of paper blah blah blah, blah paper layers on top so it will be much smoother once this is finished but when the paints are wet it it will make these kind of curls anyway I decided to add a little more turquoise paint because uh, in the pink paints or on the pink paints uh, are, is some some little texture here and there and I want to kind of cover those areas that there is like two layers of different colors paint but I will also add some papers and then pens on top so no need to mind about these it will just make the layout more personal I think but anyway this is super quick and easy background to do and of course you can make some triangles dots squares anything you want the next phase is to make something with the photographs. I first added one layer of turquoise patterned paper behind the photos. These are really cute photos of my younger girl. She was having this flower thread on her hair and Mommy, take a photo of me. I'm so beautiful. I know you want to scrap me. <laughs> yeah, I do. I always do. It's so funny that my girls are already thinking of which kind of layouts mommy is doing, that what kind of pose they should do, or some funny face or something. And I'm like, I want to memorize the normal living. You don't have to make any face. But anyway, it's kind of fun that your children are into scrapbooking in their own way. I'm making lots of paper layers for my paper cluster thing behind the photographs as I know that I will do some kind of red circle thing of the butterflies and I'm going to place these two photographs in the middle of that circle so I will I, I want to have a lot of papers there and a lot of layers and I'm going to use these pieces which I just cut randomly and some pieces from the Amy Tangerine no I don't remember the collection name but anyway the ephemera back we had in May Hip Kids and I really like the colors that's super colorful um, back of Ephemera and I like the rainbow colors there something for everyone I think and I'm thinking hard how to set this tag here but it goes there nicely so once I'm almost finished with this piece I'm using stapler here and there and then I'm going to place it on the layout. Uh, as I'm using this super duper old 3D foam slice I'm going to add some glue as well because they don't adhere anymore so good. Obviously they are not that good quality but I don't mind. I just added some glue but I didn't add any thread to this layout at this point which is really rare because usually I do. But as you see, the cardstock, the white cardstock, is already much smoother, no curls anymore, because the paint has dried while I was doing the layers, and now it looks much better already. The little patterned paper pieces in the lower right corner of the paper are little hearts, 
which are kind of the horns for the butterfly. I, I don't know if the horns is a good name for the things that are in butterfly's head, but anyway, I'm going to add them. They were in the cut file and I really love them as well. There was this little... What is it called? Anything? Uh, some leaf item? Anyway, uh, these green things. I'm going to add them to kind of highlight the idea of the circle, even though they are quite straight, but I will add them like this and then they will be more circle-like. And then I'm going to place these butterflies here and there. I was thinking of adding some stamping on top of the butterflies, maybe with embossing powder to make them more shine, but I so love the shape of these butterflies. They are so round and soft and beautiful and pretty. So I didn't want to ruin that at all. I kept the butterflies just at it as it or as they are. So I'm not sure if that was a wise decision or not, but I do love them. I really do. They're going so well together with the background. Um, the background with the paints and oh I love the paint so much. Anyway, I'm just gluing down the photographs too using 3D foam just to make sure that there's lots of dimension, lots of shades and the layers on top of the layout because I'm going to add some embellishment too. Um, I was thinking how to set the photographs as my girl is having the hand in the one photo uh, next to her chin and in one photo her hands was in her laps. But as I tried the photo in other way it doesn't look that good so I placed them like this. These fun little heart sunglasses are nice to add here and of course I want to add something more gold gold items so but I know I don't yet know how I was thinking this good vibes title but it didn't it didn't look good it kind of um, dominate too much the layout so that's why I replace it with the arrow and some words or phrases from this lovely um, what is it called Oh my god, I'm so lost in the words today. Pretty little studio, no? Pretty little anyway, these little nice <laughs> stickers. <laughs> I'm really proud of you if you are still listening to me because I'm so in a lot of words. I need some coffee and going to naps or something. Anyway, lots of more embellishments like this um, acetate plastic bird. Um, if you have this Ephemera pack or some other acetate embellishments from American Crafts, remember there's this really thin, line, uh, thin layer of removable plastic on top of them, so you can craft that off. It, it will not show, but it will make the, the um, embellishment more clear and shinier. But that's a small thing to do. And then I'm adding these lovely cardstock stickers here and there. These were from Simple Stories and I'm kind of in love with them. And now I'm going to add all these little hearts here and there um, on the butterflies. It will make good. It's a small thing to do, but it will make a great effect. And I'm going to finish the layout with a couple of things. First is to add these little bees here and there. They have um, small spots of black in each. So this really small black thing on a layout is important. It will give much more depth to the layout. And of course, I'm going to use my new Nubo drop uh, mists, which are adorable. I really love them. They are full of mica, so they are really, really shiny, which I al always adore. 
really much. Uh, I'm going to add this pink and then maybe some some um, other as well. I was thinking to add these nouveau liquid props, but maybe that's too romantic for this kind of layout. I don't know. Maybe some enamel dots will do better. We had them in the hip kits as well. Uh, thank you for watching and I really hope you are inspired and I would like to congratulate you for watching this video and even more listening to the video. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next week maybe with much more better words.